All right, here we go. Welcome to the Pema Juansa Forest. Here we go. We're going to do a, uh, I think I'm going to do a two-day, um, we'll do a two-day loop, two-day Pemi loop, and uh, the weather is perfect. The drive up was nice. Started a little on the early side, but uh, it was real good, and uh, should be a, uh, a real fun, uh, real fun weekend here. So, here's to you. Taking a little break. Uh, the trail is all railroad, old railroad track, flat trail going in. And then after you see this, after you go alongside the stream, then it goes up. So um, getting close to above tree line. Trees are small here, but uh, not an ounce of wind. It's so hot. So I can't wait to get above the tree line because there'll be a nice, nice, some nice uh, wind up there. First view. Yeah, it's funny. I went off to this uh, this big view there of uh, Barton Cliff. There's a bunch of people up there, and I was just you know overhearing you know some of the, the people talk, and I heard the word Fall River, and I live in Fall River, and uh, um, so uh, all these girls were like, uh, "Oh yeah, yeah, I live in Fall River. I, I used to live in Fall River," and, and blah, blah blah, and then this guy overheard us talking right next to us and goes oh wow yeah i used to be uh in uh i used to have an army base over in fall river <laughs> that's kind of funny but huh, fall river oh blueberry blueberry blueberries oh my god perfect time to go hiking blueberry season oh my gosh Right there. Whew. Mm. On the AT. Woo. Garfield bound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
it's exhausting like hiking up the wall. I mean, oh shit, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you're doing it a lot, you probably well, just need to wear your hiking boots, take them off, swap, strap them That was a challenge. That was like, yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, good morning. So right now, I woke up a little bit early, and uh, we're gonna go meet a friend of mine, Lance. Lance, his uh, family is spending some time in Lincoln, New Hampshire, and so I got a hold of him. There was signal at the site, and uh, he was like, "Well, I'm gonna go run uh, the Franconia Loop." So, uh, maybe I'll meet you. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, get to Lafayette right now and uh, have breakfast. <sighs> so, we'll see. Yep, I think that's Lafayette right there. We're getting there. Mount Lafayette. Not much view today. Let's get out of the wind. Oh, there we go. Alright. I made, I made a mistake, <laughs> uh, kind of a big mistake. So I was, I got camped together and uh, got on the trail early this morning and really trying to, really trying to hustle. And last night I had a, a thought that this was going to happen, and that should have told me something right there. So, so I'm, I'm hauling ass, and then I get to the top of uh, Lafayette, and I'm like, wow, I'm doing really good. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I'll have some uh, some breakfast up here. And then, and then I forgot my food at at the, at the uh, shelter. They have bear boxes, and I forgot it in the bear box. It's a dumbass mistake. And. Going back, going back is pretty crazy because it's, it's uh, really, really, the, the path was really tough. So I think I'll be all right. Um, I'm on top of uh, Franconia Ridge right now. There's no views. And waiting to see Lance. So hopefully I'll run into him. And, uh, Yeah, whatever. Well, I missed Lance. I guess uh, I didn't make it to the top fast enough. Um, so now, this is uh, Mount Liberty, and now I'm on to Mount Flume, and then from there back to the car. Rock on.
Good morning. <clears throat> All right, so the hike was tough. Without the food was uh, was pretty tough. Um, I kept wanting to take a break every every hundred steps it seems, and uh, so I had to keep force myself to keep trucking. And uh, <clears throat> and then towards the end, it was kind of funny. It was it was uh, felt kind of strange. <clears throat> I guess the way I was going, I was going, I was doing the Pemi counterclockwise, and it I didn't get past once. I was passing a lot of people coming out of uh, shelters and stuff like that, and but I, I didn't get past once until even on uh, Franconia Ridge until I was. I came down going towards Lincoln Woods Center and I hit the, the old railroad track there, the real flat part. And I was, I think, I don't know, maybe it has maybe a mile or two to go. And um, I hear the guy behind me. I'm like, I'm like, no one's passed me yet. I'm not letting this happen. So I start hiking really fast. And I didn't even look at the guy. I just kept... You know, kept trucking, and and then I was going <clears throat> hiking really fast, and he was still still on me. He was obviously pacing with me. So we're going along, going along, going along, and then he breaks into a run at the end, and I'm like, wow! And he goes flying by me. <clears throat> so I stayed right on him, and um. At times he'd go fast, and then I'd catch back up to him, and then at times he'd go fast, I'd catch back up to him. And then we, we get to the bridge at the very end, and I start talking to him, and I'm like, wow, strong finish. Great job. He goes, <clears throat> yeah, I did a Pemi in a day. And I took off at, I left, I started at 2.30, and I think it was like, I don't know, maybe two o'clock, and, uh, and I'm like, wow, that's really impressive, good job, and uh, so...